Welcome back, three putters. Nate here with That's Puttable. Today we're doing another golf DIY, and we're gonna have a little fun. So, I picked up this putter today. Um, it was sixty dollars from PGA Tour Superstore. The what's the brand? Tour Edge. I don't know. It's pretty cheap. It's a little mallet. I mean, it feels okay. I played around with it at the store, but uh, you know, it leaves something to be desi to, something to be desired. So, um, I played with my buddy once, uh, he was a former hockey player, I am a current beer league hockey player, and he used, well, not, not him, he won in a scramble, but um, it was a putter with a hockey stick for a handle. So, I have extra hockey sticks, I'm always getting new ones. Uh, this one is a really old one, like, I don't know, eight years probably, um, that I never use anymore, so... I'm gonna bite the bullet, chop it up, and we're gonna put it on this guy right here, make something kind of interesting. Um, and I'm gonna show you kind of every step along the way in case you wanna do it too. It's super simple. Uh, basically just gonna take this handle off, use a little bit of epoxy, and uh, use these caps that are in the end of them to hold it at the right spot on the putter. So, let's get going. All right, so I have all the stickers off of the shaft here. A couple of them were super goopy, so I had to take like a little razor blade to them just to kind of break up the glue. Um, you could probably use like a heat gun or something too. And then I just got like a microfiber towel and I'm just got some alcohol on it and I'm just wiping it clean. I wipe it again before I go to glue it just to make sure there's no grease or anything like for my hands. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna take this grip off. Okay, so this is pretty easy. Um, I just got this little like J hook that came with the um, uh, regripping kit I got off of Amazon. Um, you can find these on Amazon too, or you can just use a razor blade. I say it's not that big of a deal. So you just stick it under into the grip. And ride it along the shaft. Don't be nasty. And then it just peels away. If uh, and as you go, you may find, especially with like a it gets thicker at the top of this grip, you have to recut it because you didn't fully get in. Go ahead and make little slices. Just be careful because you don't want to go to the hospital. So yeah, there's not even like, like under other grips, like I had my, uh, my ping, I regripped twice. But um, <laughs> there was like, uh, I'm sure you've seen it like uh, Trotty doing it or something on Taylor made, but it's like a, a big piece of like tape. Uh, this looks like it's maybe just like some kind of glue or something. But uh, yeah, normally you gotta take that off too. But uh, a little bit of heat or, you know, some uh, like razor blade or this, some alcohol wipes and it's, comes off somewhat easy. Sorry, this grip is just pretty thick at the top. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, just cut <laughs> this uh, wonderful grip off. We're gonna miss that one. So the whole top, uh, I guess it is kind of like a little tape. It's just weird. I've never seen it clear like this. Normally it looks kind of like, uh, like kind of Amazon tape, you know, the packing style tape, but, uh, yeah. So we're going to go to town on this too, get this cleaned up and then, uh, we'll kind of measure out where we want this at. Um, so I want to get, make sure I get the Bauer logo. I'm a, Bauer guy, all my sticks are Bauer. It's 
what I prefer. Uh, so I want to make sure I get like the Bauer logo, but also get like the player's name. This is just a Jonathan Taves like model stick, I guess. It wasn't like his actual stick or anything, but so I want to make sure I get like that much when I go and measure it. Probably from where the end is now to there. Uh, when I go to cut it, and then I got this, uh, it's like cutting box, make sure I, my cuts are nice and straight. <clears throat> you don't need it, like you could put it in a vise and just cut it with a, like a hacksaw or just kind of wing it if you want, but I don't recommend that because the straighter the cut, the nicer it's going to look. If you got a saw, like a, uh, like a miter saw, sorry, brain fart, um, you can down on it real quick, but uh, we're just going to use this little a box saw. Also, I want to talk real quick about price. Um, I'm not going to name prices for anything. Like I told you, the the putter was, I ended up paying 30 bucks for it. You can find putter kind of anywhere. You can use your own putter or, you know, go out and buy a cheap one, used one, something like that. If you want to like experiment without having to mess up your putter. But um, like other stuff, like this stick was, I paid like 300 bucks for this back in the day is before I found pro stock hockey, which much cheaper, much better. But uh, I just don't use it anymore. Um, other little stuff like a uh, saw, you know, this, this little tool, it's gonna vary. You could do this for super cheap. Like you can get broken sticks. If you got an ice rink, you could go ask them if they got any broken sticks. Uh, just kind of lined about. Sometimes dudes will just throw them in the trash can on the way out if they broke them. But, um, yeah, so you could do this really cheap, um, but I'm not going to name off prices because I don't want to lead you astray and it costs you more or nothing. But uh, depending on how you do it, you know, hand tools, stuff like that, it could be super cheap to do, super easy. Um, like this little cutter is not much. I think the whole kit with uh, the little the glue and the strips of grip tape were like 15 bucks on Amazon. But, uh, so it's up to you how you're going to source all this stuff. To make it um, you can buy super cheap or you can go get a Scotty Cameron and a $300 hockey stick brand new and do it yourself it's entirely up to you uh, this is just how I'm doing this first one I may do more later like I I would love to get a Scotty Cameron one day and uh, put one of my old sticks on it but uh, right now we're just experimenting have fun doing cheap so um, try to go cheap if you want to if not, you know, you know your financial situation, not me. So it's up to you. So let's get this glue off. It's sticky and gross. And um, then we'll finally cut my precious hockey stick. It's old and I don't use it, so it's not going to hurt that much. So I'm just kind of um, getting an idea of where I want it. So I got the Bauer logo. And all you really gotta do is kind of line this up where you want it and then mark it. Like you don't have to hold it next to it to cut it. This is just a visual for me and you. So I wanna make sure the Bauer logo sticks out just a bit. And then like if I turn it over, yeah. So essentially I don't even really have to measure it cause it's kind of perfect. So I think I'm just gonna cut it maybe an inch past like the, the you know, the flex and all that. And then like probably like half an inch from the bar logo. And it'll be a little long, but uh, you know, that never hurt nobody. Um, so yeah, so we'll get this cutting. Uh, obviously use this, this straight one here, but uh, I'm not gonna try and cut this and hold it all at the same time. So uh, we'll get this cut up and then we'll show you about what it's going to look like and how we're going to end up gluing this. All right, so we've got it cut. It's about 13 inches. Um, you can see the Bauer logo pretty prominently. Um, and then uh, Taves' name. So when I do it, I'm probably going to have it be like this way. That way um, it's, it's a sticky handle. So honestly, you don't need anything, but 
Um, it's kind of neat. Like if you wanted to, you could put like some hockey stick tape or um, I'm going to do some like, uh, I think it's like lizard skins or whatever. Or, I don't know what it's called. Whatever uh, people make for the baseball bats. Uh, I'm going to do it kind of the same pattern as I do. This is Coban. Um, I use it because it doesn't tear into my hockey gloves. Like, see, this is typical hockey tape, but like uh, when it's on the knob, on the end of the knob, like it'll just eat into your glove and you'll, that's how, if you see hockey players with holes in their gloves, usually it's because of that. Um, so the Coban doesn't do it as much, but uh, I just think it'd be nice uh, to do the lizard skins, give it kind of a more leathery grip. So, and then uh, these are the uh, little butt ends. This is from a different hockey stick. That's the one I'm going to cut into. And then this will be the one at the top, the Bauer one that came with this stick. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom of this that's like barely big enough to, uh, to slide onto the shaft here. You can pop that off real quick so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Okay. Okay. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. Um, so you can see the bower really clearly at the bottom. It'll be up to you. Well, if you, you know, if you're making this too, um, if you're going to cover up like the player name or whatever else you got in there. Um, but if you're thinking about doing it, you may like put something on here for grippiness. Um, I would go logo down, but, uh, yeah, as you can see, that's kind of what it'll look like. Um, but like I said, I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of this just big enough for the shaft and then I'll, uh, mark out where I need it to be and then we'll uh, JB weld it to this and so it kind of gives it a stopping point and then I may put some kind of foam inserts like on the sides just to give it some kind of rigidity so it doesn't feel like it moves there but uh, you know we'll tackle that when it comes so right now I'm gonna uh, push that cap all the way on let it sit down and uh, measure out where I need to glue this piece so it stays in place. I have it set up. Uh, I can't do it on, on camera, but kind of get the putter or the handle where I want it centered. And then I'm going to make a little mark with a Sharpie there. Uh, and I'll clean it all up. And then um, we're going to measure the width of the uh, putter shaft. So we know how big of a hole we need to cut in the, uh, the bottom end cap. So I'll drill a hole in the uh, bottom end cap. Um, and then I'll mix my JB Weld. And then I'll glue it exactly on that spot so that doesn't want to focus. There we go. I'll glue it exactly at that spot. So then all I gotta do is essentially slide down the uh, hockey stick over the top and secure it into the bottom end cap. So this is all pretty easy. It's just, uh, you wanna make sure you take your time and get stuff right. Especially if you're, this is like your good putter. Like, yeah, you know, this isn't the putter I use. Uh, I don't even use a mallet, honestly. But um, you wanna make sure you take your time and get things right. Uh, Cause if not, you might be buying a new putter. So test it out multiple times, get good measurements. Uh, you know, uh, the, the old adage, uh, measure twice before you cut. Because once it's messed up, it's not going to be not messed up. So uh, let's get this measurement and we'll drill into the, uh, into the end cap. You need to measure uh, how big the top is and cut it to that. Heads up, it's always going to be a big bit. Um, I got lucky and I had one um, that was like a sixteenth too small to try to minimize the hole and I just kind of filed out till it went over the top and slid down to where I needed it. 
So there's my line. Um, I'm going to mix my uh, JB Weld and apply it and let that dry. This says 15 minutes. I'll probably give it like half hour or so just to make sure because I'm going to have to slide that on and then smash it on there too. So uh, measure the top of the club, slide it down, and it, the, the glue should still hold. Make sure you, um, you clean the shaft where it's going to glue. Might even be worth it to, to scuff it up some too. Um, just make sure that glue can bond, so. All right, so fortunately for the glue drying process, I had to leave to take my children, well not both of them, but one of my children somewhere. And uh, this is dried for a couple of hours now. Uh, yeah, I think it, uh, it feels like it dries pretty well. Um, it only said 15 minutes on the package. But uh, a couple hours, honestly, you're better safe than sorry. Um, again, I would probably recommend like maybe sanding the club down a little bit right where you're going to glue it. Um, just because it'll help the glue, uh, you know, stick to it better. Another thing, when you are gluing, make sure that you are making that straight. Because if that is not straight, in line with the uh, club straight, you're going to be uh, making some weird putts. So try to line that up the um, best you can. Um, it's never bad to have a vise. And then, uh, remember I was telling you about that kit for changing grips on your own from Amazon. This came with it too, so you can put... Uh, the, uh, the club in there and clamp down your vise. Um, that'll keep you from damaging your club and it'll keep it steady too. Um, this vise I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, I never mounted it to anything because it's just easier to move around when I need it. But uh, I actually don't remember how much it was. But it comes in handy a lot. You know, when you start building stuff, you collect tools. <sighs> some cheap, some nice. But, um, they always come in handy later. So now it's time to put the sandal on. All right, just like I said, uh, the, all that white stuff's glue, I'm gonna clip that off. But um, it did take a little bit of uh, some filing and just a little chisel action, just cause the, the end cap that's in the bottom here isn't uh, the one that came out of the stick. The one on top fits fine cause it came with the stick. This one is just a little bit too big, so um, but it was available, you know. Um, so all I did was um, file away a little bit, uh, made it so it slid in to the handle pretty nicely. Um, yeah, and it's it's on there now. So let me uh, let me take it out of the vise and we'll see what it feels. See if I need to add some more stuff to the interior. All right, three putters. So this is it. Um, I cleaned it up, got rid of some of the excess glue that was around the, the edge. You can still see a little bit on the bottom, but I pulled it pretty good to make sure that, uh, you know, we wouldn't have any issues with it sticking to the club itself. But, like, I, I'm really happy with the way this came out with just using the end cap to, um, to secure it to the shaft itself. Um, it would have been better had I had an actual Bauer one because it would have fit in so much smoother. And the bowers are kind of rubber, so maybe that would have stuck a little bit better to the to the shaft itself. But I had this whole sure, sure wood end cap on another stick that I never use. Uh, it just hangs out in my garage. Sometimes I use it when I'm, uh, you know, working on my shot in here. But, um, yeah, everything turned out really nice. Um, this uh, the, There's like a grippy texture on this stick itself. Um, so most hockey sticks nowadays come with either grippiness um, so players like the like the, the secure feel in their hands, um, or they're smooth. So this one has the grippy texture, um, and so honestly, if like you did this and you had the same similar style stick, you really wouldn't even have to do much um, other than just secure it. Like if you didn't want to put any kind of tape or anything on it to make it, you know, get a little bit better feel. But uh, this this grip alone feels really good. I'll probably still do it because I've been wanting to test the um 
uh, the lizard skin or whatever it's called. Um, uh, like baseball players use it on their bats, and I've seen tennis players use it too. So all my hockey sticks, I taped them like this, a uh, little American flag pattern with the Coban. Um, and I kind of, I don't know, if I'm going to actually use this, I feel like I should have, the, you know, keep it uh, similar to what I always do. So I'll probably do it. And I've been wanting to test the lizard skin um, to see if I want to actually put it on my hockey stick instead of using Coban. So <clears throat> um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, if you end up doing this, let me know. Um, you know, share it to the, uh, t like tag us on Instagram or whatever. Um, it'd be neat to see, you know, what sticks you guys use, what kind of clubs. Like this is just some cheap Torridge, Torridge Bazooka Pro. Like this was 60 bucks and because I had coupons, I walked out with it for 30. So, uh, you know, I just bought this just to, because it was cheap and I wanted to use it for this video to see if, you know, this method would work and everything. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, I would love to do like a Scotty Cameron one day, like for the putter that I'm going to keep in my bag. But uh, I'll probably use a, another stick. I'm actually using my favorite stick that I broke um, as like a forearm weight trainer. So maybe when I do it for real, I'll pull that one off of there and use it for this. Um, but yeah, if you got broken sticks, like if you're a hockey player, you know, and you break your sticks, there's always something fun you can do with it like this, you know, um, if you got the right tools already, I literally bought this cheap club, uh, which you could do to your personal putter if you wanted to, cause this was super easy and it didn't mess it up. Um, and buy some like two part epoxy from the store from Walmart for five bucks. So yeah, this turned out great. I'm really happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you're going to try it, like I said, if you, if you do it, um, you know, post it Instagram or Twitter or whatever and, uh, tag us. I want to see what you do because, uh, this is really neat. And like I said, I've only ever seen it. I got my bike up against me, so I may miss this. I've only ever seen, uh, one other person actually use this, you know, uh, something like this. Uh, but it, it feels really nice, like, it's kind of, like, smaller, so you could beef, if you're, like, the, you know, the big, uh, uh, super strokes, you know, if like, nice and beefy for your putter, you just add some, some tape to it, you know, make it bulky, make it, but, like, you know, make it like your hockey stick, um, yeah, this was fun really happy with how this turned out um and then you know worst comes to worst if you do it to your own putter and you don't like how it turns out or it turns out like you, you messed up or something just buy a new grip they're like 30 bucks on amazon for the the nice super stroke so um let me know if you do this and uh you know thank you so much for watching uh i have a another golf diy vid coming out very soon um more relative to chipping, but you can still pop with it too, so uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This uh, grip, right? I'm about to put something on the other side, I just want to fall off and kind of decide.